In addition to genetic mutations, there are many factors that affect the effectiveness of anti-cancer drugs. Key factors include tumor microenvironment, angiogenesis. The formation of new blood vessels within a tumor or angiogenesis affects the ability of anti-cancer drugs to reach the tumor. Oxygen supply, hypoxia, or a lack of oxygen can reduce the effectiveness of anti-cancer drugs. Extracellular matrix. The matrix surrounding the tumor may impede drug penetration. Drug metabolism, liver function. The liver plays an important role in the metabolism of drugs. Reduced liver function may slow the metabolism of drugs. Kidney function. The kidneys play an important role in the excretion of drugs. If kidney function declines, the drug may remain in the body longer and side effects may increase. Drug absorption and distribution. Absorption rate. For drugs taken orally, the rate of absorption from the digestive system may vary. Distribution. How the drug is distributed in the body is also important. This is affected by the amount of water in the body, the amount of fat, blood flow, and so on. Immune response. A strong immune system can increase the effectiveness of anti-cancer drugs, but a weakened immune system can have the opposite effect. Immune checkpoint molecules such as PD-1, PD-L1, and CTLA-4 can affect the effectiveness of anti-cancer drugs. Lifestyle and environmental factors play a significant role in the effectiveness of anti-cancer treatments. Smoking and drinking, for instance, affect drug metabolism and may influence the growth of cancer cells. Your diet is also crucial, as nutritional status impacts both the immune system and drug metabolism. And let's not forget exercise, regular physical activity can improve your overall health and boost immune function. Previous treatment history is another critical factor. Previous chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or surgery may affect the effectiveness of your current chemotherapy. For example, prior treatments might cause cancer cells to become resistant to certain drugs. Comorbidities or the presence of other underlying diseases can also influence the effectiveness of anti-cancer drugs. Conditions such as diabetes or high blood pressure may alter how well these drugs work and can increase side effects. Additionally, infections can reduce the effectiveness of anti-cancer treatments. Due to the combined effect of these various factors, the effects of chemical anti-cancer drugs may appear differently even in patients suffering from the same cancer. This is why personalized treatment is so important. By considering these various factors, we can establish an optimal treatment strategy tailored to each individual.